good morning good afternoon good day wherever you are so uh, I'm Mike and welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and welcome to the channel if you're new here uh, today I've got kind of a maybe this is a therapeutic moto vlog I've got something I've been wanting to talk about but I wasn't really sure how to put it out there I wasn't sure if I should talk about it uh, of course if you've clicked on the thumbnail you already know it's about a shooting that took place at Lake of the Ozarks between two 1% MC clubs. And, uh, you know, I've been a little debateful about whether I should even talk about it because it's MC stuff. Uh, but several details are finally coming out. They're in the press. I'm not going to talk about anything that has not already been made public knowledge uh, on websites. I. I don't have any inside knowledge and if I had any inside knowledge I would not discuss it because this is club related now I'm not in a motorcycle club I don't know all the protocols but I have friends that are in clubs I know people that are in 1% clubs uh, I'm the president of a local MRO organization uh, the statewide organization is freedom of road riders that's probably no secret if you watch my videos you can figure that out but they're they have what they call locals in each you know area and there are local presidents and i'm the local president in my area so being in that position i find it important for me to have good relationships with different clubs and organizations whether it's cvma which is the Combat Vets Motorcycle Association or CMA, the Christian Motorcycle Association or if they're a true MC or RC or anything else because we sometimes we talk about dates for events we try not to step on each other's dates we try and support each other's events especially events that are fundraisers for charitable causes and things like that so uh, you know bike shows they may put on or things like that when they have open house go and support their open house a little bit so anyway I've been around MC's a little bit not by no means does this mean I'm an expert on MC's I'm not claiming to be I'm not in one uh, I do have some advice about being around MC's and stuff like that but that's for another video and I've actually been talking to uh, someone in MC about you know doing a video on that and, and they you know kind of double check my video before I put it up and make sure I'm not off base on anything I say but back back to the point you know what this video is about so it's really about the shooting and how that may or may not affect people in the state of Missouri and bike fest so the shooting took place at Lake of the Ozarks on a Thursday night during bike night um, I'm going to show you a little clip of a video from a, another website that uh, I copied it off of them. Uh, Lake Expo is the original website. You can go there if you want to read the details on the articles and things like that. I'll put a link to them in the description down below. Uh, there's lots of news articles about it. I haven't seen anybody cover it from a personal aspect, just the big news channels. So. This is believed to be an isolated event. Uh, they do not think it is going to be a reoccurring event at Lake of the Ozarks. I do know Lake of the Ozarks City is taking this very seriously. I do expect a heightened police presence at Bike Fest this year because of this. This did happen between two local 1% clubs. Um, there has been tension brewing for a year so I'm not going to name what clubs or who was involved. I can tell you there was a fist fight. Somebody pulled a gun. Somebody else pulled a gun and shot the guy that pulled the gun uh, first. Uh, then he was shot. Uh, one dead, four injured. Numerous uh, people were detained or questioned. Uh, at least one is being charged. And you know, before you guys get crazy in the comments, I would ask you to, to please remember that no matter where you fall on MCs or if you have a you know, loyalty to one or another, to remember that this is somebody's uh, 
son that died. You know, a mother lost her son, a father lost their son, uh, a club lost their brother. Um, let's try and remember that in the comments that this isn't, you know, uh, something that's funny, it's serious. People died over it. Whether it was a justified shooting or not, not the point here. The point is, uh, you know, being respectful for the families and the people involved and you know this isn't the place to get into that you know debate about club life um, so if I see you know comments that I feel are way out of line I will remove them I don't want this uh, this to turn into a you know bashing or hating you know kind of conversation I just want you guys to know it happened the city is taking it seriously. I expect there will be things happen at Bike Fest like businesses will put signs up that say no colors or no cuts. Even if you're in a uh, you know non-club related motorcycle related organization, you may not be able to wear your cut. As a member of Freedom Road Riders, we wear a patch on the front of our vest, a single small round patch. And, uh, you know, I understand that because of this, I may not be allowed to wear that patch on a vest into a business because it ties me to an organization. And, you know, I personally think that's silly, but I also understand businesses may not know who's a club, who's an association, who's an organization, and that kind of thing. And they may just have a blanket rule that says no colors, no cuts. Uh, there is a difference between colors and cuts, if you don't know. Colors are something you earn. They are represent that you are part of a club, generally. Uh, cuts are vest that you put your patch on to identify your organization or things like that. Uh, that's the best definition I've heard. You know, some people think every leather vest is a cut. It, you know, it supposedly comes from people cutting the sleeves off of jackets to make vests. I, yeah, well, that's a whole other topic. There's a, a professional monkey did a video about, you know, cuts and colors and, uh, you know, take it for what you want. I just want you to understand that if you come to a bike vest and you have a vest on, you may find businesses want you to take it off to come inside. Um, if that's something you're willing to do, fine. If it's something you're not, fine. That's your choice. I expect, uh, Bike Fest to have a, like a very heightened presence of law enforcement this year. I expect the Highway Patrol is going to be more involved this year. They took over this shooting investigation because they deemed it to be gang related and because of that I expect they will have a task force there at Bike Fest because they'll expect, uh, I, I mean they've already came out and said they expect retaliation. Uh, I don't know if that'll happen. I hope it doesn't happen in a public event this was a shame this happened in a public event I don't think people you know involved wanted this to happen in a public event things escalated and got out of hand uh, and that's you know a problem and usually I think this kind of stuff gets handled outside of the public's eye and I hope that's how it gets settled if something else further comes of it um, but I want people in the uh, area or people to come to bike fest to maybe understand what's going on so i'm throwing this out there i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna put this video out but i kind of feel like i need to and my guts kind of tell me it's important so here's a clip of that shooting from uh, lake expo tv's uh, viewer that gave it to them
If you're one of those people that have been asking how you can help support the channel, well, let me show you two ways that you can do that. First, this way doesn't cost you a dime, assuming you already shop on Amazon. There's a link down below for our Amazon affiliate store, and anything you purchase after going to the store, even if it's not items in the store, we get a small commission off of. That helps support the channel, keeps me being able to get new gear and camera and things like that. So if you shop on Amazon, consider using that link before you go shopping. Two. We turned on YouTube memberships. If you click that join button right below the video, you can learn more about the perks you can receive for just a couple dollars a month, including early access to videos. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, you can hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. And as always, thank you for your support. Stay safe and keep on riding.